Hey, I'm Alex Radcliffe from Board Game Co. and this is my thousandth video on the channel. It's video number 1000. I've been doing this for two years now for 1000 videos and for 1000 I have to do something a little bit crazy because because that's what you're supposed to do with these big numbers and all that. And so in this case, what I'm going to be doing today is I'm going to be going over the Board Game Geek Top 1000 Games. I'm going to be going through them very quickly because if you've done the math, if I give every game five seconds, if I give every game five seconds, it's going to take a minute for 60 games. If I'm going through the top one, is that correct? That's a minute for 60 games. If I'm going through the top 1,000, it's going to be a lot of time. And so I'm going to be trying to keep this as condensed as possible. Every game's going to get literally a few words from haven't played it, loved it, and if I really liked it, maybe I'll actually give it like a full 15, 20 seconds. But I'm going to be going as fast as possible through this because I'd rather that this video not take an hour. Going through the top 1,000, I'm going to be time snapping this by blocks of time, by the way, meaning it's not going to be every single game. That would be craziness. But rather, you know, 1,000 to 950, 950 to to 900 all of that and because I don't want to waste that much more time I have my water because I might need it given how much I'm gonna be talking here I have my my little uh, thingy that I like to play with I always have stuff I like to like play with when I'm talking through these and with that let's go ahead and start this off now you'll notice that I'm on the other side of the screen compared to usual it just works better for the board game geek interface and with that let's go ahead and start this off whistle stop uh, good game, but forgettable. Didn't really stick with me. Fortune and Glory, too big of a game, too big of an investment. Never really dived into it. Merlin, I actually have the big box of that. I really want to play it. I've read the rules, but have not tabled it. Looping Louie is more of a toy than a game to me. Fun, cute, but I don't really think of it as a game. Level 7 and Mugget Protocol, I never really got into the level 7 stuff. Something about them, it didn't, don't know enough. They never really got me. Uh, Chimera Station, I've always been willing to play it. Never sought it out for my own collection. Prince of the Renaissance, I just don't know enough about it to, well, know enough about it. For the people, generally these style of games with this style of art and genre I, I find that they don't pull me in as much and haven't gotten around to trying that one Julius Caesar the same as for the people just didn't really pull me in Legend of the Five Rings the card game it's one of the LCGs out there many LCGs out there in the, the world and this is one that I've never heard any buzz about and never had a reason to pick it up Automania really enjoyed that one it was a really solid game didn't end up keeping it but really liked it Black Sonata this game is incredible it's incredibly innovative in what it's doing a little solo hidden movement game which seems like it shouldn't be possible not one that I love but very impressed by the game design Design. Unlock. Well, I mean, I like the unlocks in general, and I played Squeak and Sausage. I enjoyed it. Uh, Icky. Icky's a new one. I actually should have a copy of this coming in. I'm just played Ultra by the same publisher. Looking forward to Icky. I know about the general gameplay, but haven't played it. Marvel Splendor. I've been debating picking this one up. I've always liked Splendor. I'm curious if my kids would want to play Marvel Splendor, but I haven't actually played, well, this particular version. Ohanami, never even heard of it. Shadow Hunters, wow, Shadow Hunters. That game used to go for like 20 bucks and now it goes for like uh, ridiculous amounts of money. Never really played it though. Explorers of the North Sea. Uh, this goes back to the earlier, I think this is the one trilogy from Garpil Games from Shem Phillips that isn't like as laudably, you know, lauded or whatever, as notably lauded. Never really played Explorers of the North Sea. Uh, Era of Medi Medieval Age. Uh, this is the, I, I played this one a while ago. It kind of has that roll through the ages aspect to the gameplay of building things out, rolling and getting stuff. It, it was good, but not good enough to really remember. Uh, Wendaki, never played it. Tsuro, never played it. I always preferred Indigo in terms of, well, I can't say prefer because I never played Tsuro, but I always liked Indigo and never really dove into Tsuro. Animal Upon Animals, one of Haba's most famous games where you stack animals upon one another. I, I enjoy it. I like it, but also I don't have a copy anymore. Actually, I think I do. My kids still have a copy somewhere. Deep Space D6, never played it. Eco's First Continent, really enjoyed this one, actually. I actually just reviewed this. Uh, I really enjoyed Eco's First Continent. It's, it's light, it's simple, it's easy, it's breezy, but I like it. Honshu, I did not like Honshu, it's not, that's not true, I, I was okay with it, but didn't love it, and the other one in the ser series too, there's two of them, I, I like the overlaying cards, but the rest of the game didn't compel me, Sons of Arcany, never played it, uh, Warhammer Quest, never played it, Watson and Holmes, never played it, 1812 The Invasion of Canada, one of the best games I've gotten rid of, a really, really solid game, I really enjoy it, but uh, eventually I left my, left my collection, Coconuts, uh, see the the other one, the, the, the Looping Louie, it's more of a toy than a game, but cute, Ghost Fighting Treasure Hunters, I enjoyed this one, fun little kids game, one, I don't, I believe I got rid of this one, because my kids weren't asking to play it, but we did like it. A Domain, fantastic game, another great game that I got rid of. I had this one in my collection for like eight years and I just played it out, but really saw the solid game. Etherfields, wow, we're getting a bunch of these games that I think are good, but I got rid of it. Etherfields, campaign based, really enjoy it, really like it, but I have too many campaign games that are compelling me more. No Retreat the Russian Front, never really compelled me. Yggdrasil, it's been so long since I played this game that I forget how it plays. That's very rare for me, but I played this game a long time ago. 
I forget everything about it. I just remember it was very, very difficult. Clinic Deluxe Edition. Always been compelled by this, never dove into it. Witness. This is the game where you whisper in each other's ears to try to figure things out, and I think COVID basically destroyed the game, but uh, I haven't played it yet. I've been very intrigued by it. Archaeology the New Expedition. I like this one, but not enough. I dove into it. This is a new version of Archaeology. Dove into it. Didn't really keep it. Detective Club. I just got this. I really like the style of game with those, you know, pictures where you try to... D Dixit style game. Dixit genre. And I like the, I like the idea of Detective Club, but haven't played it. Diamonds. I played the original Diamonds, not the second edition. It didn't really stand out for me. Most trick-taking games don't, and this was no exception. Hardback. This was the follow-up to Paperback. I, I like Paperback and Hardback. Didn't keep either. I am looking forward to Paperback Adventures from the same creator, because I think that will solve my problems with Hardback. 8-Minute Empire Legends. This game does not play in 8 minutes. It doesn't play in 8 minutes. It's good. I like it, but it does not play in 8 minutes. Battles of Westeros. Wow, I played this once a long time ago. This is one of those Command and Color games. Uh, I think it's a little bit more forgettable in the genre. Lots of expansions if you want to get into it, but yeah, long time ago. Ambush. Never really played this. Older war game. We have Rurik Dawn of Kiev. Fantastic. This game should be higher up. This is one of those times where it's got a high rating, but just not enough popularity. Rurik Dawn of Kiev is an absolutely fantastic game. One of my favorite games from Stan Kodansky. Really amazing game with the, the program actors and the bidding. Really, really solid game. Irish Gage. I've been tempted to dive into this series from Capstone, but I haven't really gotten into it. They have a something and rails, whatever, a series, but I haven't dived dive into any of them. I think Iberium is the newest one. I want to play them, just haven't gotten to it yet. Tombs in a Boom. A hidden role game, a team-based team, team based hidden role game, where you're basically trying to have an assassin with a bomb and a president and keep the room separate. Never really played it, always been intrigued by it. Battlecry, the original Commands and Colors games, I think it's the original, or one of the originals, never played it though. Reavers of Midgard, again, another game I never played. I played Champions of Midgard, never played Reavers, never got around to it, always been intrigued by it. Massive Darkness, a good game, solid game, one that I thought had many flaws, and I'm happy and looking forward to the second edition of Command, Massive Darkness New, very much looking forward to that, should be sh shipping shortly. Linko, I think I I played this, but I don't remember anything about it, so I'm not sure. If I did, it's a long time ago. Runebound 2nd Edition. Never played 2nd Edition. I did play 3rd Edition. I really liked 3rd Edition, but it was a little too... There was a lot more going on it. I liked it. I didn't keep 3rd Edition. Dream Home. Never played it. Quarriers. Wow. That's an old game. I, this is one of those games I played when I first got into the hobby. I got into the hobby 2011-2012, so when I did, Quarriers was new. My wife and I got it. We got all the expansions. We dove into it. Really, really liked it. And then one day, we just stopped playing it, and it left my collection. Akusa. Never really played it. Disney Villas. I do not like the Disney Villas series at all. All, I do not understand the love that it gets. China, never played. Quartermaster General, uh, I have a friend who's been telling me I really should dive into it. Haven't played it myself, though. Smash Up, I do not like Smash Up. It's one of AEG's more popular games. I do not find it fun at all, in the slightest. Shadow and Crossfire, well, I don't really play it, never really played it. Kalis 1303, I played the original Kalis, thought it was an excellent game. I have Kalis 1303 on my shelf, haven't played that. Paris, La Cite de la Meillere, I've played this one, I haven't played the expansion. I actually plan on diving into it with the expansion and then reviewing both on the channel together. I'm just waiting for me to dive in with the expansion, but that's the uh, Paris. A fun little polyomino game, very interesting and tactical in the way it's played out. Bloodborne the board game. Did not work for me. I did not like Bloodborne at all. Uh, to to be fair, it was true to the video game, which I didn't like either. I just did a really good job uh, implementing the video game, and I did not like Bloodborne. Love the miniatures, but I was very happy to get rid of those boxes. Paper Tales. Paper Tales is often recommended as a good Seven Wonders competitor. I did not find Pe Paper Tales that compelling. It was okay. It was fine. I just I didn't find it nearly compelling compared to the drafting system around it. Shikoku 1889. Never played it. Axe and Allies Anniversary Edition. I mean, I played the original Axe and Allies way back in the day, or one of them. I don't don't know which one. Uh, maybe I played this one. I played them. I just don't know which ones I played. Terra Maple City. It's a fun game. I like the Rampage system. Uh, it's, a it's a fun game. It's cute. It's it's whimsical. It's fun. It's it's not that great as far as gameplay, but it's fun to drop you know things on the board and just smash meeples around. Lord of the Rings, the original Rainer Kitsia game. I, I I played the original Lord of the Rings. Uh, I played this game over here a while ago. Overall, liked it, but also forget about the same time. Mr. Jack in New York. I my for me my favorite of the Mr. Jack series is actually uh, Le Phantom de Opera. I generally do like the Mr. Jack system of deduction. It's not really deduction so much as tactical maneuvering. Almost abstract, combined with deduction. Really like the system. Fauna. Uh, Fauna is actually one of the games. I've played Terra. I've played America. I have not played Fauna. Uh, they're all generally the same system, and I like the system, so, I mean, I should like Fauna. Metropolis. This is actually being reprinted by Roxley Games, so I played Metropolis. I enjoyed it. I liked it, but didn't end up keeping it, but it's being reprinted by Roxley, so we'll see what happens there. Dice Town. Uh, Dice Town is one that I never actually played. Read the rules for it. Never ended up playing it. I'm still willing to play it. Batman and Gotham City Chronicles. I backed this, got my hands in it, and then I heard 
too many things that were had me conflicted, and plus the 60 pages of rules, whatever it was, I ended up selling my copy before ever diving into it. Wildlands. This game gets a lot of love, and it's not for me. It's from Martin Wallace, whose games I generally love. Wildlands didn't hit it out of the park for me. Something about it never really compelled me. Via Nebula. Via Nebula, also from Martin Wallace, if I'm not mistaken. I think. I could be wrong. I have to click through, which I'm not going to do right now. I like Via Nebula. Great art. Great system. Uh, didn't want, Not what I ended up keeping, but solid game. Wilderness War. Never really played it. Falling Sky. Never played it. Stronghold. Wow, my wife did not like this game. I tried pulling this out way back in the day to play with my wife. A asymmetric game from, um, from Portal, I think it is. But we dived into it. My wife did not like it. I haven't dived into it since. I really need to give it a play with somebody who actually likes it or is open to liking it. My wife was very, very not into it. Rome. Never played it. Looney Quest. Looney Quest was very compelling, but it's a one-trick pony. You're basically drawing things on a board in order to match something over there and then laying your acrylic over. It's a very cute system, just a one-trick pony and not one that stuck around. Zendo. Never played. Empires of the Void 2. I didn't play 2. I did play 1. For me, it didn't really stick around. I've heard of 2 is better, but haven't played it. Vinci. Vinci is like the original like thing before Small World. I never played Vinci, but it's like supposedly the precursor to Small World in terms of what it's doing. Tales and Games. The Hare and the Turtles. Never played. Cat Lady. Delightful game from AEG. Much better than that Small World. Small uh, well, much better than that smash-up that they put out. I like Cat Lady. It's one of those games I completely wrote off because the theme of it doesn't appeal to me at all, but once I finally played it, really enjoyed it. The Beak Book of Madness. It's not one that stuck in my collection, but it's one that I found compelling and interesting. I overall liked the system, just didn't really keep it for some reason. Number 9. I kept that for quite a bit. I like the stacking system of number 9, but again, one that moved on from my collection. Ice School. Very cool, interesting flicking thing. They actually have a new game coming out soon, the, the Iron something, Iron Forest. Uh, I'm going to be checking that one out, but Ice School is one that I liked, but again, once the allure wore off, I got rid of it. Netrunner. I didn't play this version. I did play Android Netrunner. We'll talk about it when we get to that one. Container 10th Anniversary Jumbo Edition. I have... I want to play Container, never got around to it. I have some friends right now who have a copy, hoping I'll play theirs. Hey, that's my fish. Really like it as my fish. A very solid little game. I had in my collection for like eight years before getting rid of it. It's so tactical. It's so mean. It's so cutthroat. Really good game. Deceptively cutesy. Santa Monica. A game from AEG that was okay, but didn't stick with me. When I Dream. I feel like I played this one. I, I know I read the rules. I don't know if I ended up playing it, but whatever. Tide of Iron. Tide of Iron is one that I read the rules, dove into briefly, uh, didn't end up keeping it. Distant Plane. Never dove into it. Study an Emerald. Read the rules, never played it. Circadian's First Light. Never played it. Time of Crisis. Never played it. Riverboat. Never played it. Herbaceous. I like Herbaceous from Pencil First. Uh, my wife likes it light more than I do. I enjoy it. She likes it more. But yeah, we have it in our collection. And that's the first hundred down. We are not making good time, by the way. We are not making good time. I'm gonna have to go faster, apparently. I, I just, you know, it just takes too much time. Okay, Nations. Nations of Dice Game. This was, I, I, I liked it, didn't love it. Islebound, never played it. Ticket to Ride, New York. I, I didn't play this one, I played USA. Rex, Final Days of an Empire, never played it. Read the rules, had it in my collection for years, unfortunately never hit the table. Friends, really enjoy Friends. Friends is a solid game that has this little stacking mechanism of building out your blocks. Really like it, very unique in what it's doing. Winner's Circle, never played. Kingsburg, second edition. I don't know if I played second edition. I definitely played the game. I don't know if I played second edition. Like Kingsburg, solid game. Not one that lasted, but it lasted for like six years, so it lasted for a while. More Smash Up. Fields of Green. Never played it. Heard goods of things. I should I should open Fields of Green in a new tab and get my hands in it. Battlecon War of Indians. I, I like Battlecon, but it's one that I don't play that kind of game with the same people, so it didn't stay in my collection. But I do like it. Solid game. Whistle Mountain. Amazing game. Really love this. I think it's such, a, such an underrated game. War of 40,000. Never played. Wiz Wars 8th Edition. Played this a long time ago. Like, a long, long time ago. Back when I first got into gaming. I actually just recently got it back to give it a shot again to see, because I remember liking it. Just never kept it. Rivals of Catan. I never liked Rivals of Catan. Didn't really stick with me. Thunderstone. I like Thunderstone. I, I kind of went through multiple iterations. None of them stayed, but I did enjoy my time with them. Condor. Never played it. Black Fleet. Never played it. Majesty. Never played Valley of the Kings. I do not like Valley of the Kings. Lots of people like it. For me, it really didn't land. I did not like Valley of the Kings at all. Unfortunately, unfortunately. Coffee Roaster. Really like Coffee Roaster. It eventually left my collection because I felt it was a little samey over time, but really solid solo game. Cottage Garden. One of uh, Uwe Rosenberg's tile laying polyomino games. Like that one a bit. Uh, I like one a lot. I like all of them a lot. Unfortunately, I can't keep that many polyomino games, but I did enjoy them. Manila. I don't think I played this one. CO2. I, I I did not play this one. Star Trek Frontiers. Basically, Mage Knight in Star Trek. Haven't played it. Merchants of Venus. Did not like it, but I don't like Pick Up and Deliver in general. I need more Pick Up and I need more stuff happening in a game for me to at all engage with Pick Up and Deliver. 
Rail Revolution, never played. Mint Works, never played. Worlds for 1893, okay but forgettable game. Space Hulk, never played. Zombicide Season 3, never played the original Zombicide. I dove into them once or twice, but I don't think I did dove into Season 3. I did like the original Season 1. More Smash Up, didn't play. Red Rising, really liked it, but also really didn't like it at the same time. It was a little bit of a mixed bag. There were aspects I enjoyed, aspects I didn't enjoy. I kept it for like, I don't know, 8 or 9 plays, and then it moved on. Luxor, never played. Project Elite, I need to play it more. I think it's such a good game, but it's not one that hits the table often for, for practical reasons, but I really like Project Elite. History of the World, never played. Raccoon Tycoon, I've read the rules. I, I've played Lizard Wizard. I need to dive into Raccoon Tycoon. I'm curious which one I end up keeping, but I can't keep both. Zombicide Invader, leaving my collection. Really good game, but I have too much Zombicide coming, including Marvel Zombies. Mr. Jack Pocket, uh, another implementation of the Mr. Jack system. It was good. I think the better, uh, the bigger ones are better, but if you want the small box size, I think it's a good game. Star Wars The Queen's Gambit, never played. The Speichster Stat or something. I really actually like it. I, I don't like the art or the theme. I'd love to see this reprinted and deluxified in some way, but I actually think it's a really solid game. Lovecraft Letter, never played. Dinogenics, never played. Last Bastion, the reimplementation of Ghost Stories, never played. Automobiles, never played. Lowlands, never played. Istanbul the Dice Game. Uh, my wife and I really like this one, but ultimately, I think I just prefer Istanbul. I think this is just a, an okay game compared to Istanbul, but a good game. Polis, I played this a long time ago. I believe they re-implemented it in a new version. I haven't played the new version yet, but Polis was, was very intriguing, didn't stick around. Marvel Dice Masters, see Quarriers, same basic genre, just taken to the uh, collectible system with Marvel and all that stuff. TAC, one of my favorite abstracts in my collection, amazing experience. Quirkle, fun, light, simple, one that's good for a few years, but we moved on from it. Discoveries the Journals of Lewis and Clark, I believe I played this like once, a while ago, someone else taught it to me, I played it, I thought it was good, but not enough to get it. Space Corp, never played. Gold West, I actually really like Gold West, it's one of those TMG games that I guess is gone now, but I, I liked it, but also didn't keep it, like a lot of games. Antique, I don't have Antique, but I have Antique Duellum and Antique 2, so I guess those count. Legendary Encounters, never played. The Grim Forest, solid game from... From... I can't spend time remembering names right now. The Grim Forest, a solid game, really enjoyed it with the kids, but it's a lighter game, and it's one that I wouldn't pull out a game that, and the kids stopped asking for, so it eventually left. La Cita, I played, like, once a long time ago, don't remember much about it. Blue Lagoon, a Reina Knizia game, I thought it was very compelling and interesting, but also, I think Through the Desert is better. Ascension, Return of the Fallen, I played Ascension, I don't know if I played this one. Ascension is fine, I prefer Dominion in general. Detective City of Angels from Venerida Games, I, I want to play this, I just haven't gotten around to it. DC Comics deck building game, look at this, I put out a lot of these deck building games, with IP sla slapped on them. I thought DC Comics was good, like Lord of the Rings was good, but didn't keep it. Call to Adventure. Didn't work for me. I think this game requires more imagination. I don't mind story, but I don't want to have to be the one coming up with the story. Werewords. Still have in my collection. I've read the rules, have not played it. I love uh, One Night Ultimate Werewolf. I haven't played Werewords yet. I want to play it. New York Zoo. I have a copy coming because I, I think I need to give it a shot. It's a polyomino game, Uwe Rosenberg. I like that genre. I don't think I'll keep it. I think I like Baron Park more, but I haven't actually played New York Zoo, so we'll see. Parade. Never played. Letter Jam. I like Letter Jam, but it wasn't one that ultimately stuck. Uh, there's all these these party games and only so many that I can keep. I love, I not loved, I like Letter Jam, didn't keep it around. Meeple Circus, a uh, really solid game. My kids really like it. We like it. We generally pull, pull out and play it here and there. Five in a Dungeon, really solid gimmick of a game. I'm happy I played it. I had it for a few months or whatever it is, went through it a few times, and then moved on from it. Fabled Fruit, never played. Flick em up, a fun game, but I, dexterity games to me don't typically last. I enjoyed my experience with it, moved on from it. Snow Tales, this was a really good game. It's one of those games that I always want to get back, but I don't know if it'll actually hit the table, but I really like Snow Tales. Solid racing game. City of Kings. Read the rules, set it up, played it a bit, and moved on. Did I play it, or did I just set it up? I know I went through the process of, of I know the rules, I know how to play the game, I don't remember if I actually ended up, ever ended up tabling it, but I just had too many of these games in the genre, and I couldn't play them all. <laughs> Concept. Concept is an interesting party game that was fun, and I'm happy I experienced it, but moved on from it. Castle Ravenloft. Never played. Unlock. See, Unlock series. Zulorado. Zulorado was fun. I like the, the general concept of it. I, I find that I get the same mechanics out of Colorado in a smaller package and more accessible, but I do like the expansions of the bigger game as well. Jaws. Never played. Chronicle of Crime 1400. Never played this particular iteration. Attica. Attica I played a long time ago. I don't remember enough about the game. I remember liking it, but not enough to keep it or add it to my collection. Tiny Epic Quest. I, I play Tiny Epic Quest. I like it. It's actually one of my more enjoyable ones in the time, a Tiny Epic genre, but in general, their games haven't stuck with me. I find they deliver good games in small packages, but I'm looking for big packages. Dream Factory. Never played it. Legacy. Legacy was a very interesting game. Really enjoyed it. It's one of those games I always wanted to hold on to for longer than I did, but didn't actually end up hitting the table, but really liked it. Undaunted. In general, the Undaunted series is one that I want to dive back into and see where it goes. I really enjoyed it, but when I'm not playing it, I forget how much I enjoy it. I have the same problem with War Chest, both of them, same same issue. Quicks is a good one, but I like other rolling rights better. Hawaii, never played. Descent Legend of the Dark, I actually have a copy. I got my hands on a copy, against my better judgment, haven't played it yet. 
Mahjong. I played it on the computer, I guess, technically. Castle Burgundy, the card game. Forgettable. I prefer Castle Burgundy. Battle for Rokugan. Solid, solid game. Really enjoy Battle for Rokugan. It is a... It takes the best part of Game of Thrones, the board game, and gives it to you in a very accessible format. Ascension. See Ascension earlier, we talked about. Britannia. Never played it. Serebia, the Inside World. Never played it. Trails of Takana. I actually really like Trails of Takana. Solid role in my game. Feels similar to On Tour to a degree. I need to play it more. I have it on my shelf. It may eventually leave just because I'm not playing all of my role and rights, but I do like it. Lanterns of Harvest Festival. I enjoyed my one play of Lanterns and then moved on from it. Wasteland Express Delivery Service. See Lanterns. I enjoyed my one play of it and then decided to get back Zia, uh, uh, Legends of a Drift System instead. The Shipwreck Arcana. I've heard good things about this and I plan on picking up a copy, currently out of print. Adrenaline. I thought Adrenaline was okay. It was area control combined with a first person shooter. A uh, very interesting game, but I found it a little abstract in what it's doing, the applying the area control to a first person shooter. Wrath of a Shadowland, never played. Web of Power, never played. Thunder Alley, never played. And I'll take a drink of water when we go to the next hundred. We're one fifth of the way through. We are at 19 minutes in. Not voting well. Not voting well. Okay, faster. We gotta go faster. We have Subterra. Where are we? Subterra. Never played it. The Lost Expedition. A solo game that I... Or solo or cooperative game. I thought it was okay. Didn't keep it. Hanapar. Wanna play. Never did. The others. I played it. I like uh, basically Cthulhu better. And as well as um, Rise of Moloch better. And I... I'd rather play those. Heroescape, never played. Core Worlds, really good deck building game. Had this for a few years before eventually moving on from it. Palm Island is a fun little puzzle game of putting things in your hand. I like it, didn't keep it. Minara, I like that one. My kids liked it a lot more. I just, we didn't end up keeping it. We liked it and didn't play it enough. Tragedy Looper is a brilliant game in what it's doing. I really, really liked it, but we just didn't play it enough to end up keeping it. Louis XIV, did, didn't play this one. And Age of Industry, Age of Industry is excellent, been replaced by Brass. Dice Stone Season 1, well, just Dice Stone in general is solid, like that one. The Magnificent, I have it, I read the rules, have not played it. Wizard, have not played. Kitchen Rush, I've played Kitchen Rush and Rush MD. Uh, a general real-time games is similar to the Sturdy games, don't tend to stick around in my collection, but I do enjoy them, and I enjoy Kitchen Rush. Summoner Wars, I never really played Summoner Wars. Actually, that's not true, I did play Summoner Wars, but I never, I never played it enough, I never got more stuff. Smash Up, we've talked about. Miraja, never played it. Uh, Maraja, Gen Genoa, never played it. Pictomania, I like Pictomania. Solid, solid party game, but many other party games also, like other party games, m didn't stick around. Roll Through the Ages of the Bronze Age. Had this, had this one for like a few years. Played this one with my wife when I first got into gaming. Uh, really solid game. Kind of rolling rights before rolling rights were cool. Bridge. Never played, I guess. I, maybe this is just regular Bridge. This is regular Bridge. I played Bridge. The Bloody Inn. Never played. Container. See Container. 10th Anniversary Edition. Forbidden Island. Really good game. I, I like Forbidden Desert better though. Dice Hospital. Good game by Stan Gronowski. <laughs> Good game for San Konowski, and I did, played it like once or twice, and then got and moved on from it. Rhino Hero, another solid Haba game involving stacking, solid game. Morals, Morals is a really good game that didn't stick around for some reason. Project L, really, really like this game. Project L is excellent, I still have it in my collection, looking forward to the expansion that's coming shortly. Imperium Classics, a well-rated game that did not work for me. Homesteaders, Homesteaders was fun. I enjoyed it from TMG, but I only played it a few times and then moved on from it. Last Night on Earth, never played it. Tammany Hall, really, really good game. Very cutthroat, very, cutthroat, very mean, really enjoy it. Uh, one of those games didn't stick around, unfortunately, but I really, really like it. Really recommend it. Akatori, played it once, did not like it. Tumbling Dice, very cutesy, a dexterity game. I find that I keep Crokinole, but I got rid of Tumbling Dice. Palace of Carrera, just got reprinted, never played it. San Marco, I never played this, but I did play the one from... Um, from Stefan Feld that kind of re-implemented it, sort of, I think, whatever. Conflict of Heroes, never played it. Santiago, never played it. Signori, never played it. Catacombs, never played it. Yellow and Yangtze, have it on my shelf, but got rid of, I got rid of Tigers and Euphrates, still want to play Yellow and Yangtze. Unfair. Unfair is okay, I liked it, but didn't love it. Uh, Legendary Marvel Deck Building, didn't play it. We actually, we played Legendary, but not this particular iteration. A uh, Diamond, or Last Will, played Last Will. We like the push your luck mechanisms, there are other push your luck games I keep instead. Dale of Merchants, just got rid of this one. Really solid game, I have some complaints with it though, so I moved on from it. Virgin Queen, never played it. Thunderstone, I have played, I've played through all of them, never kept any of them. Summoner Wars, see what I said already. Can't Stop, Can't Stop is one of those push your luck games that I do have and do keep that I think is better than Last Will. Pandemic Rising Tide, one, a good game, but not my favorite in the Pandemic offshoot variant series. Cash and Guns is fun, it's cute, it's gimmicky, not one I kept, but a fun game to play. Merv, I still have Merv, but I think I'm going to be getting rid of it. It has not hit the table in a while, and I don't find myself looking at it when thinking what I want to play. Brewcrafters, never played. Hyper Rear, never played. Empire of the Sun, never played. QE is redonkulous. I imagine it will leave my collection at some point. It's broken, it's crazy, it's fun. Celestia, never played. Disney, we've talked about already. Uh, Tang Garden, never played. Gentis is fantastic. I love that game. I have the deluxe version of the game. Aquatica, I love this game as well. Really solid game. 
and Carcassonne the city. I played this one a long time ago and, and moved on from it. Just kept the base Carcassonne and other expansions. Warm Underworlds. I have this game. Need to play it. Bus. I need to play this one. Union Pacific. Have not played. Tennis Trail. I have the new version back. I, I liked it. I like Martin Wallace designs in general. Tennis Trail. I have the new version. I want to give it a shot. Spyurium. Never played. Star Wars the card game. Played it like once and then moved on from it. There are other LCGs that are more compelling. Ticket to Ride. Played a lot of them. Have not played Ride Rails and Sales. Crown of Amara. Have it in my collection. Need to read the rules and get it to the table. Friedrich. Have not played. Honey Buzz. Fantastic game by Love Creek Games. Perudo. Which is basically Liar's Dice. I've played this a long time ago. Don't remember how it plays. Or I mean, I remember the basics, but haven't played this version or whatever. Tajamaniska Domestio, which is basically Mysterium. Let's talk about Mysterium later. Scoville. Scoville is another TMG game. I played it once or twice, enjoyed it, thought it was very cutesy, very great artwork, solid, but not one that stuck with me. Zertz. Zertz is one of those games in the Yinch series. It's one of my less favorite ones in the series, but I do like it. Had it for years. Ricochet Robots, never played. Heroes of Airland and Sea. I refer to this one as one of those games that I will get back when I eventually have time to go through everything. I really liked it, but too much stuff going on for me to dive into if I'm not playing regularly. Red 7 was cute, played through it a whole, like, I had it for a year or two enjoyed it but moved on from it crystal palace i actually have it right now but i have not read the rules and need to do so not alone have it as well read the rules have not played it fugitive fugitive is a little two-player game really solid but again moved on from it but very very clever in the way it's implemented spyfall spyfall is a game that in theory should work more for the right group i'm sure it does for me it was it was good and i moved on napoleon's triumph never played trimestius never played reef encounter i played this one a long time ago I remember being really mean and really clever, but I don't I don't actually remember much about it past that. Outlive, never played. Marvel Dice Masters, we talked about. One Deck Dungeon, never played. Dogs of War, fantastic game that I'm sadly going to be getting rid of. We'll talk about that more in the future. Railroad Inc., love Railroad Inc. in general. Combat Commander, never played. Yudo, I have the Deluxe Edition, have not played it yet, but I've read the rules. CO2 Second Chance, haven't played. XCOM, I went tried playing this a while ago, like way back when it first came out. Couldn't actually get a table for some reason. Lords of Zidder, read the rules for this like four times and our group never played it. Eventually I gave up and moved on. Rhino Hero Super Battle. I've played this one. I actually like this one more than regular Rhino Hero. 13 Days have not played. Jambo, I have played. Love that game. Solid game. We actually got it back a year ago, but we'll see. Anyways, let's keep on going. Okay, moving on. Moving on. Moving on, we have um, The Pursuit of Happiness. I really like this one, but didn't end up keeping it. Conflict of Heroes, never played. 878 Vikings is another one of those in the series. Never played this one. The Mind is fantastic. Not a game, more of an experience, but I do enjoy it. Fuse was cute, didn't really keep it. Squad Leader, never played. Tribune is fantastic. Love that game, still have in my collection. Vasco da Gama, I believe I played this one one time and then moved on from it. Uh, Finca, I don't recall playing this one. Blocus, I've played. I mean, I played Blocus growing up as a kid. It was a fun game, but not what I own. Dungeons and Dark Dragons, and never played this one. Panamax never played, Imperial Struggle never played, Black Angel, own it, have not played it, supposed to be supposed to be an iteration of Twa, which I have played and love, Washington's War never played, Among the Stars I thought was cute, or not cute, wrong word, it was, it was touted as like a Seven Wonders replacement, uh, I like Seven Wonders better, I, I got never really kept Among the Stars, Disney Villas we've talked about, Vast I've read the rules for, never ended up playing it, Summoner Wars we've talked about, Blue Moon City I thought was okay, didn't compel me, Deep Sea Adventure never played, King of New York, I like King of Tokyo better, uh, Exit, I like the Unlock series better, Fantastic Factories, it was good, didn't pull me in, a uh, solid game, but did not pull me in, Australia, I uh, never played it, but I want to, New Frontiers, never played, Super Motherload, I got this game and read the rules multiple times, never got a table, I still want to get it back, I'm going to open another tab again, we're just going to do bad things here, bad decisions, The Estates, I really loved my first play and then found my next few plays not that compelling, 1989, didn't, never played, Kano, Ka uh, Kanogawa, Kanogawa is a fun game, I do like the system, didn't end up keeping it, but I did like it, Star Trek Fleet Captains, played this way back in the day with my wife, we did not like it, St. Petersburg, I actually just got this for the first time. Never got this one to the table. Wits and Wagers, never played. Villagers. Villagers was cute. Again, I'm using the term cute incorrectly. I liked Villagers. I didn't love Villagers. Furnace. Really, really solid uh, resource converting game. Like this one a lot. Still in my collection. Warhammer Invasion. Never played. Ah, uh, no, that's not true. I did play this. Wow. I played this way back in the day. Didn't end up keeping it. Fake Artist Goes to New York. Uh, one of those games like, like Spyfall, but with a cl more clever trick. If you're going to get one of those games, I recommend Fake Artist more. Ex Libris. My wife and I did not enjoy this for some reason. World Without End. Owned it, but never ended up playing it. Oh My Goods. Uh, oh My Goods, I currently have my collection again. I played it a while ago. I got it back to try it again. Reef is a cute puzzle game. Okay, there you go. Cute again. Reef is a good puzzle game. I, I like it, but didn't end up keeping it. Caverna Cave vs. Cave, Cave was good. I'd rather play Agricola, all creatures being small. Shards of Infinity is a game that I prefer to Star Realms, but still didn't keep either of them. Diplomacy. Never played. 
Space Hawk Death Angel, the card game. I like other solo games better, but I did like this one. Coal Baron, played this once, never played it again. Don't remember that much from it. Uh, Zombicide, we played the original Zombicide, we played subsequent Zombicides, I have not played Season 2. Disney Villas, we've talked about this, I did not like this game at all, did not work for me. Cry Havoc, I heard good things about this one, I like area control as a genre. Cry Havoc didn't work for me, it was okay, didn't didn't compel me. Civilization New Dawn, I have this in my collection, need to be the rules for it. Black Rose Wars, I'm probably going to be saying goodbye to this one, unfortunately. Really, really like it, but we just don't table it. Space Talk, never played. Century and New World, I, I haven't actually played this version, I've played the first two, I haven't played the third one yet. Between Two Cities, never played, although I have played Between Two Cities of Castles, Matic, and Ludwig. Churchill, never played. Cribbage, I don't actually think I've played Cribbage. The Duke, I like the Duke, but didn't love the Duke. I, I like other abstract games better. Carcass on the Castle, I think we talked about this already, didn't we? Maybe? I don't remember. I don't actually remember if I played this one. I played the city or the castle or both. Don't remember. Empire's Edge Discovery. Fantastic game. Really like this one a lot. Fleet the Dice game. Fantastic game. Upfront. Never played. Ascension. I like Dominion better. It's Shipyard. Really, really solid game. Uh, this is like, I played this way back in the day. Really liked it. Uh, it's out of print now. Uh, Middle Earth Quest. Never played. Whitehall Mystery. Uh, never played. City of the Big Shoulders. Never played. Treasure Island. I still own this one and still have not played it. I, I read the rules for this like three years ago when my son was born. Istvan. I like this one. Didn't keep it though. Arcadia Quest Inferno. Never played Inferno. Half played Arcadia Quest. Eminent Domain. Played this one way back in the day. A uh, deck building and other aspects combined. I like it, but I like Dominion better. Ashes, Rise of the Phoenixborn. Read the rules for this one, never played it. Onirium, second edition. I have Onirium, like it a lot. I generally like the Oniverse in general. My Little Scythe. My kids like this one. I'm willing to play with them. I enjoy it, but it's not my favorite go to pick. K2 is a really good game for a few games, but kind of got boring for me after a few plays. Mexica, I own and have not played. Predaport, I have not played. Dragon Castle, I have not played. Century Eastern Wonders, I like. I like the first one the most, but I do like Eastern Wonders. Worse, Sindas Volk, not played. Pan Am, I own, have not played. Telestrations, I have played. It's it's a fun party game. I like other games better. Bang the Dice Game, I do not like Bang. In any of its implementations, I have not liked Bang yet. The Oracle of Delphi, I really like this one. It's another Stefan Feld game that I really enjoy. D-Day at Omaha Beach, have not played. The Networks, I played it once or twice. I enjoyed it, but something that never really pulled me back to play it again. Fort, I thought Fort was fun, but also a little messy at the same time. Advanced Squad Leader, never played. Atlantis Rising, I just got this one back to try again. I always liked it. I didn't keep it the first time around, but I I, I wanted to get it again and try it out. Tash Galar, never played. Vegas Showdown, never played. Love Letter Batman, I played Love Letter, I'm not this version of it. Feudum, never played. Too messy, very scared of it. Crusaders, I will be done. Really good game, I played it a few times. I found it got samey for me after a few plays, though, so we moved on from it. Unlock, see other entries in the Unlock series. Arkwright, never played. Six Nymphed, oh, the cute little tornado, cute, jeez. It's a tornado kind of tornado themed game we basically try not to hit us with the number i like it solid game didn't keep it but i do like it wallenstein i really prefer i played wallenstein and shogun i prefer shogun kevin blood and sand fantastic game a uh, review just went up on the channel uh we have steampunk rally really enjoyed it one but did not keep it took Hido, i got it i got it like one or two plays when i first came out and didn't didn't love it Moving on, making better time so far. Catching up, catching up. We'll slow down for the top one, top 100, I guess, but we'll keep going for now. Uh, Warhammer, Warhammer, the Adve Quest the Adventure card game. I really liked it. I played it for a few times, though, and then moved on from it. Yamatai was okay. I always like five tribes more. Between two Castle Matic and Ludwig. It's a good game. It's not a great game, but it accommodates a bunch of player counts and plays well. Hero Quest never played. Hadrian's Wall is fantastic. Possibly the best one I've played. Seven Wonders, one of my favorite games. One of my old games in my collection. Really enjoy it. Uh, it's on the lighter side, but I do really like it. Leaving Earth, I've heard good things. Have not played. Zango, I have not played. Elder Sign, I have not played. Canvas really surprised me. Really enjoy this one quite a bit. It is, it's light, it's accessible, it's good. Fear of Dracula. I need to play this one, but I haven't yet. Kakao, have not played. Spectre Ops, fantastic. Uh, Mind MGMT and Beast have basically fired all hidden movement games for me, though. Defenders of the Realm. I like this one, but it's also very messy at the same time. Didn't end up keeping it. Escape the Curse of the Temple is one that I always like, but like I said with other ones, real time games are, tend to be a little gimmicky for me and didn't stay. Mermaid's never played. Tor uh, Torres is one that I have played, have enjoyed. Some interesting castle building elements going on. I had it for a few years, then moved on from it we have cuba cuba is a Cuba is a solid game, played it once or twice, and then didn't go back to it. Luna, never played. Kingdom Builder. Kingdom Builder is fantastic. I, I have the newest version, Winter Kingdom, but I've always loved this one from Donald X Fox Reno, the designer of Dominion. Exit, I like Unlock More. Smash Up, I do not like Smash Up. Thunderstone, we talked about it. Colorado, I like Colorado. We talked about this by Zuluetto. I think Colorado is excellent, very hard decisions to be made in a very short and accessible game. Downfall of Pompeii, have not played. Mr. Jack, I like it, but I like um, uh, the uh, Phantom to Opera more. Cooper Island, have not played. Medici, have not played. Unmatched. I don't like the Unmatched series. It did not resonate for me. Cuba Libre. Have not played. Draftosaurus was, was fun. That one actually, I could say cute and mean it. It was good. 
It was not great for me. Zombicide Green Horde, like it a lot. I like Black Plague more. Lord of the Rings the Confrontation, fantastic game that I think is eventually going to be leaving my collection soon, but really fina fantastic two-player game. Cubitos, really enjoying this one. I am curious about the staying power of it, but I do really like it. Racing game with Push Your Luck. Belfort, never played. Read the rules like twice, but never ended up playing it. Airland and Sea, a fantastic two-player head-to-head game. Shadows of Brimstone, have not played. Battle of Fire Armor, Five Armies, played this once and did not enjoy it, unfortunately. I still want to play War of the Ring, though. Dixit Journey, in general, Dixit's phenomenal. This one is also phenomenal. Star Trek Ascendancy, have not played. Shakespeare, have not played. Blitzkrieg, phenomenal two-player game. Time's Up, have not played. Pact Renaissance, have not played. Tri Triumph and Tragedy, have not played. Formula D is a fun racing game that I think other racing games are better. Tuluva was really, really solid in terms of what it's doing. A little abstract mechanism. It's very fun to build it out, but the actual gameplay, I found other games I prefer. Betrayal, never played. Summoner Wars, I've played. Meadow, uh, Meadow is one that... I didn't love my initial plays. I kind of want to dive into it again and see how it is. One Night Ultimate World, I tend to really enjoy. Nova Luna, I really like this one. Uh, Trains was a really, really good game. Uh, a really good game that I eventually moved on from, but like Dominion, I like the style. I like what it's doing. Magic Maze is one that I played through the whole thing and then moved on from, but I do recommend it. I just, I played through all the, the stuff, the scenarios they had. Love Letter is one that never really resonated with me. Always fine to play it, but not one that I really am compelled by. In the Hall of Mountain King is one that I wonder about the longevity of the collection, but I do like it, at least for now. Dice Stone is one that is uh, on the simple access side is accessible but i really enjoy it my wife is always happy to play it high society is really really good uh, i've had some some king making issues in it so we stopped playing it but i do like it quite a bit silver and gold uh, supposedly out of print now but as uh, a polyomino game very accessible it didn't stick around after a few years but i did enjoy it republic of rome never played madara i've yet to dive into this one i really need to earth reborn i really want to dive into this one as well but never got a chance to sidonia i have this in my collection the big box master set i need to play this one or else it's gonna be leaving the collection thieves surprisingly never played this one uh all Always was around, but never actually ended up playing it. Raiders of Scythia. Tried giving this one a shot, but again, like most of the other games in the trilogy or series of games from, from Garpel, I liked it, but did not love it. Coup. Really liked this one. Kept it in my collection for years and years and years. Eventually moved on from it. Marinostrum. Never played. Quantum was a really interesting one. I enjoyed it. Played it a bunch. Eventually moved on from. Valeria Card Kingdoms. I really like this one. Just got the second edition in and already played it. So I, I, I like this one. I like all the expansion content. Very happy with it. Las Vegas is a fun, fun, fun accessible game. Dawn of the Zeds is one that I read the rules or started reading the rules, solo game, and need to dive into this one, King is Dead, own it, have not played it, Zombicide is good, I like Zombicide Black Flag better, Star Wings never played, Jamaica is fun, I like it, a fun, accessible family gateway game, one we eventually got rid of because it wasn't being played, Through the Desert from Reina Knizia, solid, tactical, very, very dry game, but uh, really, really enjoyable, Carcassonne Hunters and Gathers is good, but we kept Carcassonne in the original instead of it, Gears of War never played, Tobago is one that I, I got back a few times, because I really like this one, but it ultimately doesn't see the table, so it's currently gone again, but I, I, I still like it. Star Wars Destiny, never played. Game of Thrones, the card game, never played this one. Broom Service, never played. Struggle of Empires, never played. Conan, I read the rules for but did not play. Francis Drake did not play. Game of Thrones, the original Game of Thrones, I did play this one. I played Second Edition and I played the original. The second Edition is better. Keyforge, never played. Carson City, fantastic game, very underrated. Automobile, never played. Evolution, played it a while ago. I actually kind of want to get it back because I started playing the app. Blood Bowl, never played. Camel Up is a good, fun race betting game, enjoyable, but one that is good for whatever. You know, I moved on from it. Devon, really good game. Had in my collection for like seven years before I moved on from it. Aquasphere is one of those fun filled games that didn't land with me quite as much. I like it, but I didn't keep it compared to his other games that I would like a lot more. Zombie Kids Evolution. My kids and I still haven't finished this, but we do like it. We've played it like 20 times. We just haven't finished it. Space Empires. Heard good things. Have not played. Hammer the Scots. Have not played. Love Letter Premium. I guess just more Love Letter. Next Stops. I like, but didn't love. I think it, the age is telltale. Uh, or it shows, it shows its age. Star Wars. Never played. And we are halfway done. We are 36 minutes in. We're making good time. Good-ish time. Okay, okay. On to the second half. Whew, this is a mistake. Coliseum. I liked it, didn't love it. Baseball highlights, never played. Paperback, I see my entry in hardback. Anno 1800, I'm glad to see this one rising. I really like this one. Alhambra, had it for years, had the big box, really good game. One that we stopped playing, but really enjoy it. Discworld, really good game. I have the new version of it on uh, Nancy Narking. I got rid of the original Discworld because it's going for a premium. Uh, Starcraft the board game, didn't play this one. I have played the, the newer implementation, whatever it's called, Forbidden Stars. Uh, Karuba, never played. Cloud Spire, in middle of the rules as we speak. Photosynthesis, liked it, didn't stick around. Taj Mahal, never played. Chicago Express, enjoyed it but didn't stick around Pax Perfina uh, never played Colonist never played Pathfinder never played never played yeah never played it Last Will really liked this one had it for a few years eventually moved on from it Roombound 3rd Edition really liked this one quite a bit but uh, not the kind of game that's ultimately hitting the table at my house so it eventually moved on Vikings played it once that was a good game I didn't love it but I liked it Vinos played it a long time ago when I first got into gaming I want to get it back and play it again Tales of Baby Knights we did not like this one we don't like choose your adventure story games like this Sushi Go fun game not my go to drafting game my daughter likes it we 
still own it. Port Royal, did not like it. Did not like it one bit. Robo Rally, very cute game. Uh, cute, jeez. Robo Rally, a fun programming game that is very, very solid. Always down to play it, but I don't currently own it. 1846, never played. Blackout Hong Kong, never played. Skull King, heard good things recently, have not played. Bonanza, have not played. Hadara, really like it. Uh, fun. Fun Empire abstracted age uh, civ building game. Seven Wonders ish in the feeling, if not the gameplay. No thanks. Really like it. Still own this one. It holds up year after year. It's a fun game to pull out when you just want to play a quick uh, filler game. And Gateway. Sar, one of my favorite games in the Yinch series. One of the only two left standing. This, this and Yinch are the only two left standing. Elysium, never played. King Domino. Never, uh, and Queen Domino, I liked. I actually kept. Uh, I played King Domino once and moved on. Kept Queen Domino for a year or two, but eventually moved on. Railwood Inc. We talked about this already. Love this one. Escape Plan. Own it. Read the rules. Need to play it. Uh, Airlines Europe. Airlines Europe was one I had for years. I eventually moved on from it, but really liked this one. Oath. Haven't played. Ingenious. Fantastic game for Inaknizia. Uh, just one of the many games that eventually had to leave the collection, but had it for years as well. Agizia. Had it for years. Left the collection. Post Explosion. Still own it. I, I don't really play it. My kids like it though, so we play it with them. Oceans, I've read the rules for it, but I have not read it yet. I still have not played it yet. We uh, have it in, have in the collection. Thrones and Taxis. Had this in the collection for like seven years before it left. Libertalia is fun. I think I like the concept a lot, but the actual game only held up for a few games before I moved on from it. One Night to Mount World, still have it in the collection, still like it. Argent the Consortium, never played. Mandala, really liked it, only held on to it for a few months before realizing it wasn't being played over other two-player games. Roads and Boats is supposed to be fantastic, have not played my copy yet, though I really need to. Sentinels, have this one for years before getting rid of it. Sidereal, Sidereal Confluence, have not played it. Times Up, have not played it. The Grizzle, played this once, did not enjoy it. Euphoria, I played it once, was okay with it. Small World Underground. I like Small World in general. Had it for years before I left the collection. Fox in the Forest. Played it once. Did not enjoy it. Citadels. I like this one a lot. Still have it right now. Imhotep. Never played this one. Freedom. I played it once or twice and was okay with it. I liked it. Did not love it. Junk Art. I, I really liked this one actually. As far as uh, as far as um. Dexterity style games, Junk Art is really solid. My brothers have actually had my copy for years, so technically I own it, but I haven't had it in my house in years. First Class, haven't played. Smartphone, read the rules, have not yet played. Betrayal Legacy, I uh, didn't read the rules, own it, I'm waiting to actually play it because I like Legacy games. Black Orchestra, haven't played. Legends of Andor, I've actually want to pick this up now because I've been enjoying Robin Hood with my kids, so I want to try to get Legends of Andor and see if it works. Destiny's fantastic game. Archipelago, read the rules like 14 times. We never played it, eventually it moved on from my collection. Friday, really like this one. Solo game, it went through a phase where eventually I tried it, got rid of it, got it back, and since then it has not left. London, phenomenal game by Martin Wallace. It, ultimately, Martin Wallace games, I like a lot of them and I can only keep so many, so it did leave. Lords of Vegas, fantastic game. Had this one for years before I got rid of it. I heard there's another version, version another edition of it coming out. I might might pick it up. We'll see. Shadows of a Camelot, fantastic game. Had it for years before I got rid of it. Chess, have I heard of that one? I've played chess, fine, I've played chess, fantastic game. Fire in the Lake, haven't played Catan, fantastic game, had it for years before it left. Citadels, we just talked about it. Pipeline, did not love Pipeline, unfortunately. Hanabi, Hanabi didn't love either. Uh, Madeira, never played. Stuff Fables, I didn't like it, but I liked the time I spent with my kids playing it. Uh, Exit, we see Unlock, I prefer Unlock. Battlecon, we've talked about it. Deus, Deus was a fantastic game that eventually I started seeing the rough edges that made it not work for me, but I loved it until that happened. Cult Express, never played. Labyrinth, never played. Raptor, played it a few times, was okay with it, didn't get the hype as much as others. Forbidden Desert, fantastic game. I finally got rid of it, but it's my favorite from the whole Forbidden series. Shadows of Brimstone, never played. The King's Dilemma, never played. Mystic Veil, vale, never played. Blood Bowl, never played. Mansion of Madness, I played second edition, did not love it. Descent, I have not played, but I have the newest version of it. 7075 Rebellion. Fantastic. See my entry on 1812, where it unfortunately left. Marvel United. Happy to see this one rising in the ranks. I love Marvel United. Really been growing for me. It's very simple. It's very stupid, but it really, really works. Sheriff of Nottingham. Fantastic game. One of my favorite bluffing games. Still have in the collection. Pitch Car. It's a dexterity game. I think it's excellent, but see my entry on dexterity games. They usually don't last. Wavelength. I thought it was a gimmick, and it didn't really work for me past like the few occasional times where it was fun. Most of the time, I find it okay. I'm on Ray. I have it. I own it. New edition coming from 20th Century Games, but I haven't actually read the rules. No, it's not true. I've read the rules. I have not played my copy. Commands and Kells of Palionix have not played. Shot and have not played. Americo. I'm actually getting this one back. I'm currently going through a resurgence of trying out some Stefan Feld games again that I got rid of. I liked Americo. It did leave, but I want to get it back. Battle Lore. I played this one a few times. Didn't stick around. I also played Second Edition 2. Pandemic the Cure. Played it once and moved on from it. We're down to 300 left. That's not true. We're down to 400 left. Gotta count that properly. Jeez. Miss Legacy, haven't played. Sprawlopolis, love it. Lord of the Rings Confrontation, we talked about this already, but I love the game, might be getting weirder. Imperials of the North, Emp Imperial Settlers, Empires of the North, have not played this iteration. Skull, fantastic bluffing game, still own it. 
Pandemic Reign of Cthulhu, fun, but like many Pandemic offshoots, I played it a few times, moved on from it. Ark Nova, pre-ordered and waiting for it to arrive. 394 already, how did that happen? Uh, we have Hero Skip Master set, uh, never played it. Quadropolis played it a few times and then moved on from it. Glenn Moore, I have second edition still. Kingsburg, solid game, really liked it, had it for years, but moved on from it eventually. Biblios, I enjoyed it but didn't love it. Lancaster, I have the big box, fantastic game. Ankh, fantastic game. Few Eggers of Snow, fantastic game that I eventually moved on from because I kept on winning at it, I just played it too many times. Spartacus never played. Point Salad, I actually have it on the shelf. I need to review it at some point. I'm okay with it. I don't love it. Blood Bowl, haven't played. Millennium Blades, have not played. Flashpoint, really solid game. Had it for years. Got rid of it eventually. Thunderstone Quest, uh, by the time I played Thunderstone Quest, I think I was burnt out on Thunderstone. I like it, but I didn't want to keep it. Firefly, uh, haven't played. Santa Mer or Mira, have it on my shelf. Need to be the rules for it. Chinatown, fantastic game. Very crazy. It's the kind of game I play like once or twice a year, but when I do, it's such a good experience. Terra from Mars, Earth Expedition. This game is both a disappointment to me because I want it to be better, but it's also a great game. It's a game I really, really enjoyed. It was just outside my top 100. Supposedly, there's expansions coming to Kickstarter very shortly. Twice as Clever. Good game. I prefer Ganshan Clever, the first one. Charterstone. Good game. Went through the whole thing. Really enjoyed this legacy game. Great Zimbabwe. One of the spotted games I need to play but have not. Bonfire. A Stefan Feld game that I currently own, currently like, and hope to play it more. Expansions coming out. Downforce. Good game. I had it for like a year before I got rid of it. Just wasn't sitting at the table, but I did like it. Macau. Great game, but one of the Stefan Feld games that did move on from my collection. Fresco, had it for maybe six months, played it a few times, eventually moved on from it, don't remember that much about it. Manhattan Project, it was a good game, I liked it, but I didn't love it. It was all the worker placement, pull your workers back, really enjoyed it, but didn't love it, didn't keep it. Anne's End, I've played Anne's End, I've liked it, did not keep any of them. Arkham Horror, too long for what it is, enjoyable, but too long for what it is. Ginkopolis, fantastic game, still on my shelf, just got it back uh, last year actually, really like it, very intricate and very different in what it does. Stockpile, fun game, I'm very curious whether Bear Raid replaces it, I heard good things about Bear Raid. Dice Forge. I thought it was uh, fun, but not worth the effort and energy around pulling the dice faces off the game. Mice and Mystics haven't played. Maria haven't played. Abyss is on my shelf. I have not played it. Dice Stone uh, in general. We've talked about Dice Stone already. San Juan never played. The Godfather. Read the rules. Have not played. Codenames Pictures. I like regular Codenames better, but I do like Codenames Pictures too. Pandemic Fall of Rhone. I haven't actually haven't played this one. I need to play this one. Let me open this in a new tab. Get my hands on a copy. Civilization. Have not played. Advanced Squad Leader. Have not played. Dune. Have not played. Newton. Have not played. Space Hulk. Have not played. London Second Edition. I played London. I haven't played the Second Edition though. Nippon. Have haven't played claustrophobia i have 1643 read the rules have not tabled it yet carpe diem it's a feld game that i kind of want to give it another shot but also don't i like it i just like other feld games better class of cultures fantastic game i need to pick up the monumental edition king of tokyo really good game had it for years and years and years eventually moved on from it innovation I just got this back for my wife because she always liked it more than i did so i got it back we'll see if we end up playing it azul stained glass of century i like azul better tiny towns i enjoy it it's fun it's light it's not amazing but i do enjoy it ticket ride markland played lots of ticket rides have not played that one tech and you all Blisk of the Sun. Own it, have not played it. Sword and Sorcery. That is like a 60-page rulebook that I read like three times, played the game, enjoyed it, but thought it was too much work for what it was. Sherlock Holmes, haven't played. Mythic Battles Pantheon, it was okay. I didn't love it compared to the amount of stuff I wanted for it, so I eventually just got rid of it. Uh, Bruxels 1893, I want to try this one out. Unmatched, I've talked about Unmatched already. It didn't work for me as a system. In the Year of the Dragon, I plan on picking up a copy of this because I want to try a Stefan Fell game that I haven't played yet. St. Petersburg, I have second edition, which I'm going to be playing. Nusfjord, I have the copy on my shelf. I have not played this yet. Gizmos was okay. I enjoyed it. I did not love it. Blood Bowl, I really liked it back when I first played it, when I first got into gaming. We had it for two or three years. We eventually got rid of it. Gugong, have not played. Endeavor, have played the new one, Age of Sail. We have, or Endeavor, yeah, Age of Sail. Lost Cities, fantastic game. Eventually got rid of it, but I had this one for years. Pillars of the Earth, my brothers own my copy. So another one where I've technically owned this one, but my brothers own my copy, or have my copy right now. I think it's a fantastic game. At the Gates of Liang, another Uwe Rosenberg that's fantastic. One that I eventually moved on from. I'm not currently in a rush to get it back, but I think it's excellent. Hallertau is an Uwe Rosenberg that I own and have not played. Awkward Quest, I've read the rules. I really need to table this one. I'm very excited for it. Paleo is fantastic. Happy to see this one rising in the ranks. Dimacher, I have not played. Star Wars Frontiers, I like Star Wars in general, I played Frontiers as well, I liked it, you know, Notre Dame is a fantastic Feld game, San Juan I have not played, Monikers is a great party game that is very, very different, very solid, still on this one, 51st State Master Set, I like the original 51st State, but I kept diving into other iterations, didn't really work for me, I wanted to like it more than I actually did, For Sale, I still own, but I do wonder if I'm getting rid of it, we'll see, The Red Cathedral have not played, Harris Stand have not played, Camelot, I played the original, not this version, Bunny Kingdom is fantastic, really like this one, every time I play it, it keeps rising for me, my wife loves it, I love it, 
great game. Harry Potter Hogwarts Battle. I got rid of this because I was playing with my game group and it didn't work for us. I got it back. I'm playing with my daughter and we're having a lot of fun. Evolution Climate. I actually just started playing this in the app. Uh, like I think it's a better version of Evolution. Altiplano. Have not played. I recall all creatures big and small. Really good game. Kept it for years before getting rid of it. Baron Park. Fantastic game. Still own this one. One of my favorite polyomino games. But I can play it with anyone from game group to kids to whoever. Star Wars Armada. Have not played. Forgotten Waters. Really need to play this one. I should open this in a new tab as well. I think it needs too many players. I think that's my issue. I'm not going to get this table. Mission Red Planet, second edition. I prefer Citadels, but I do like Mission Red Planet. Takanoko never did it for me. Now we're down to 300 left. Okay, we're down to 300 left. We got 48 minutes in. We are still making relatively good time, but this is just a process. It's just a process. We have Arkham Horror, third edition. Have not played. Dixis, phenomenal. Ghost Stories. I never loved Ghost Stories. Always wanted to like it more than I did. The Resistance, phenomenal, but I prefer Avalon. Nurshima Hex was a tactical game that never really worked for me quite as much. I liked it, did not love it. Survive, a good game, but I think it shows its age. I enjoyed it, but don't keep it. Merchant Marauder is a fantastic game, but a little too long for what it is. I think Zia does it better. Love Letter is good, but I never did it for me particularly. Acquires is fantastic. Uh, Acquires is a fantastic game that eventually left my collection, but I had it for like six, seven years. Years. Let us my chapel. I played this one a long time ago. I kind of want to get it back to see because I'm enjoying the mind MGMT and Beast so much. I want to see what they hold hold up. Mysterium. Fantastic game that didn't get tabled because of the player count and the people who wanted to play it or didn't want to play it in my group, but I really liked it. Sid Meier's Civilization, have not played. Dungeon Lords, played it a long time ago, did not love it, I thought it was okay. Tiny Epic Galaxies, see all the Tiny Epic series, I like them, I don't love them. Bruges, phenomenal game of Stefan Feld, really like this one. Tikal, I feel like I've played Tikal. I feel like I have. Now I'm not sure. Is this the one I played? Let's see. No, I didn't play this one. I haven't played... Did I play this one? Let's see. No. Yes. No. I'm not sure. I may have played this one. Either way, we're going to move on from it now. Uh, Glass Road. Phenomenal game. Love it from Uwe Rosenberg. Great game. Above and Below. Played it once. Didn't work for us. Mage Wars Arena. Played it a few times, but I think I needed to get too into it, and I never got fully into it. Arboretum. Arboretum is a really good game that I eventually moved on from. Small World. Phenomenal game. I got everything for it. Had it for years, and then I moved on from it. Heaven and Hell, Never played. Fantasy Realms. Basically Red Rising, but no, not. I think Fantasy Realms came first. Never played it. Telestrations. Solid game. Party game. Moved on from it. Uh, not really moved on from it. Never really owned it. It's okay. I just didn't love it. I liked it. Hannibal never played. Nemo's War, I didn't like this one, unfortunately. Century Spice Road, I liked it. I prefer the Golem Edition. Cryptid. Cryptid is really, really good, but eventually I found that I got too good at it compared to the other people around me. I was always worried about that. If I play it more, it's a deduction game. You get to see those patterns. I think it's a great game, though. Burgle Bros. Burgle Bros was fun. Never really committed to it. Battle of Second Edition, I got a few times. I kept wanting to like this one. kept trying for it, but eventually just gave up on it. Uh, Cthulhu Wars. Cthulhu Wars is one that I think it's a really good game, but there are other games I prefer in this genre of what it's trying to do. My City, a great game. 24 plays was probably more than it needed, but I like it. Polyomino, Simple, Reina Knizia, Legacy, all that stuff. Imperial 2030. I played Imperial, didn't keep it. I got Imperial 2030. I still need to play this one. Antiquity, phenomenal game in the Splatter series. Not my favorite, but really enjoyed this one. Onitama, an abstract game that I liked but never loved. Unmatched, we've talked about it already. Alien Frontiers, fantastic game. I always want to get this one back, but I know I won't play it. Rune Wars, I have some on my shelf unplayed. I need to give it a shot. I mean, it's an area control game. I have to give it a shot at some point. Exit. I prefer Unlock. Summoner Wars Master Set. I, I played it way back in the day. Never really committed to it. Hive. Really like this one. Had it for years. It's a solid abstract game, but one that is no longer my collection. Indonesia. Fantastic game. This is my second favorite splatter behind Food Chain Magnet. Ethnos is a good game for the right group. I always like it. I never love it. Dead of Winter. Never played. I, that's not true. I never played The Long Night. I have played the other Dead of Winter. Vindication. Phenomenal game. My number eight of all time this past year. Really like it. Clask. I haven't played Clask. I have other games that do a similar thing, though, that I like a lot more. Well, I shouldn't say more because I haven't played Clask. Lords of Hellas, really like it. Not my favorite area control game, but I think it was like my number 50 of all time. Really good game. Navigator. Navigator is excellent. I need to play this one more. I don't know if it'll hold up over time compared to like, let's say if I'm playing Concordia or Navigator, but I do really like it. Manhattan Project Energy Empire. I don't think I've played this version. I played Manhattan Project. I don't think I've played Energy Empire though. Western Legends, a game I really want to like more than I do. I find the downtime to be too problematic. Nether Valir is excellent. Space Alert, I want to play. I have it. I haven't played it yet. I just, I haven't played it, unfortunately. Too Many Bones, Undertow, phenomenal game. Love the system. Tapestry, good game, but not one I ended up keeping. Fear of Dracula, we talked about earlier. I need to play this one. I have had it in my collection for years. Star Wars Outer Rim, have not played. Battle Line, really good game. I like this one. Solid, solid game, still own it. Imperial Settlers, I keep wanting to like this one. It's that 51st state situation all over again, but I didn't end up keeping it. Age of Empires, I have the new one, the Age of Discovery. Play that one. Uh, Dungeon Pets, I, Dungeon Pets is a game that I like, but I think it's a little too messy and heavy for what it is. Rococo, I'm going to be getting the deluxe edition of this game. I want to give it a shot. Imperial, I played it and did not end up keeping it. 
it. Dixon Odyssey, love the Dixon system in general. Taverns of Tiefenthal, had this one for years. Eventually, I got rid of it when doing one of my purges where I was really trying to find things to get rid of. I do think it's a good game, though. King Domino, I prefer Queen, Queen Domino. Seasons, amazing game. I always want to get this game back. I don't own it, but I always want to own it, and I just... It's a good game. It just doesn't get played anymore. Dwellings of Eldervale, a game that by all accounts I should have loved and I merely liked. Power Grid. I, I, I want to play Power Grid again. I got it back. I haven't played Power Grid since I first got into gaming, so I want to try it again. And Zen Legacy, one of the few Legacy games I didn't finish. I got like six or seven games in, and eventually we like opened some secret thingy and then said, you know what, we're done. I like Zen. I just don't love it. Samurai, a good game for Inakritsia. I like other Inakritsia games more. Bora Bora, not my favorite Feld, but one that I do love and own. Pulsar 2849, I, I didn't find this one memorable. I enjoyed it without loving it. Lewis and Clark the Exhibition, same, I liked it without loving it. 1960, had this one for a few years, really enjoyed the head-to-head -head combinants one. Ultimately, Watergate fired 1960 and Twilight Struggle for me. Under Falling Skies, one of my favorite little fun puzzly solo games. Glory to Rome is good, I don't love it quite as much as other people, and I definitely don't like it to the current price tag it has. Modern Art, I actually just got this one to try it out, I want to see if it works for me. Micro Macro, a good game. Uh, Where's Waldo of Gaming, enjoyed it, and then when I finished all the cases, I moved on from it. 1830, uh, 1830, never played. Isle of Sky, I just got this one back. Really like it. I don't know if it'll be played. That's ultimately the question. I do like it a lot, but will it or will it not be played? Hero Realms, I like it, but I prefer Star Realms. Steam, phenomenal game. I have not played this one in years, though. I really need to break out the rules and table it. Obsession, we just played this a few weeks ago. Really like this one. Uh, it's still solid. I want to add the expansions and see how things go. Shogun, one of those games I want to get back. I really, really like this one. Really good game. I keep debating getting it back. Uh, Viticulture, Viticulture is fantastic. Just discovered it this past year in 2021. Really, really like Viticulture. It's uh, my favorite Stormfire Games e game easily. Do never played Flam Rogue. Want to play? Have not played. Gas Trucker, phenomenal game. Unfortunately, I got too good at it because I played the app, and now I went against everyone, so I got rid of it. Search for Planet X, good solid game. Really good solid deduction. I, I found that I, I like it without loving it. Hanuma Koji, I love it without liking it. Arcadia Quest, I liked it. And that's it. I, I moved on from it. Sushi Go Party. Really, I mean, it's Sushi Go, basically. It's just the party version. Century Golem Edition. Phenomenal game. Love this one. Very accessible. Very light. Uh, one that I enjoy playing, though. One I, I always like pulling out. Role Player. The game that I keep trying to love. I'm on my third time with it. Trying to trying to see. I like it. I just, I want, I feel like I should love it, and I just like it. Dominion. Love Dominion in general. This is not the first or last time. This is not the last time we're talking about Dominion in this top 100. Deception. Really good game. I eventually got rid of it because we have too many games in the genre, but I really enjoy Deception. Solid game. Princess of Florence, I have not played this sadly. Goa, I have not played this sadly. It just saw it on Before You Plays, like number two game of all time. I really need to play it. Yinch, uh, one of the only two games in the series left. We have Yinch and Saw, which I believe are the two highest rated ones. They're also my two favorite ones. Secret Hitler, never played, and now we're down to 200 left. Five minutes left in the hour that I gave myself. This whole hour thing was not happening. Undaunted, we talked about Santorini, really good game. It's light, but I really like it. One of my favorite abstracts. Cyclades, one of my favorite games. This is my top 10 of all time. Kanban, I need to play it. Legendary, I never loved Legendary. I dived into it, didn't work for me. Zombicide Black Plague, my favorite Zombicide so far, except Marvel Zombies is going to take over that place. Space Base, I like it. I prefer Valeria Card Kingdoms. War Chess, I like it. And like Undaunted, I don't play it as much as I should. Took a Dry, had it for years, eventually moved on from it. Carcassonne, we still have it. We still have a whole bunch of expansions as well. Ra, really, really, really good game. Had it for like eight years and eventually got rid of it because it just wasn't getting played anymore. La Grania, they have a new deluxe version coming out. I played this one. I'm going to be diving back into it again to see if I like it. Tichu, never played it. Go, played it a lot, actually, growing up. Uh, I like it. I just, uh, not my favorite abstract. Time Stories, played it once or twice and was not for me. Sleeping Gods, got a copy on my shelf. I need to dive into it. Splendor, Splendor is a good game. One that I think is a great gateway game, and I want to get back uh, Marvel Splendor to see if that one's something that works for us. Tires of the Dark, I just got the, the, the new version of it. I'm very intrigued. I want to dive into it. Coimbra, one of my favorite games from this series of design. Cascadia is amazing. I love Cascadia. Okay, this is gonna this is gonna hit the top 100. I guarantee it. Cascadia will hit the top 100. Just give it time. Codenames Duet, phenomenal game. I like Codenames better, more better, but Codenames Duet is excellent. Star Realms, we've talked about multiple times. Path of Glory, have not played. Nations was really good. I prefer through the ages. Praga put Regni, have not yet played. Chronicles of Crime, I liked it. Did not love it. Eventually got rid of it. I do want to drive into the uh, Chronicles of Crime like 1400 or the, whatever the other ones they have. Calico, I like. Cascadia is gonna beat you. It's gonna catch up. I'm telling you. Combat Commander of Europe, have not played. Detective, have not played. Captain Sonar, have not not play but want to play village ha i played village a lot actually uh, eventually we got rid of it but i had it for years glenmore 2 is a great one really solid game really looking forward to diving into the expansion near and far never played the crew mission deep sea i like it better than the crew and i like the crew a lot already 
Ticket to Ride Nordic Counties countries, one of my favorite Ticket to Ride systems, but eventually all Ticket to Rides have left our collection. Beyond the Sun, I've read the rules and I'm waiting to dive into this one. Suburbia, I like it a lot. We don't play it a lot. Uh, we're, I'm curious. We're actually diving into it with Crackle Up right now. We'll see if he wants to keep it. I may get my hands on a copy again. We'll find out. Viscounts, I, I've read the rules, have not played. Psychic Tower, heard good things, but it's also like a two player game that's three hours. That's a tough sell. Commands and Colors, I never played this one. This War of Mine, own it, read the rules, have not played. Concordia v Venus, I play Concordia, love Concordia, have not played Venus just yet. Sagrada, really good game. I got it back with all the expansions. It's always one of those fun games that is lightweight, accessible. I do enjoy it though. Cosmic Encounter, really good game. Left my collection twice though. Horrified, a really good game. Left my collection over like a two years. I'm like, I had it for two years. Match of the Gathering, this is a money sink. Don't do it, but it's amazing. Game of Thrones, the board game, second edition. I like, I like, um, Battle for Working Gun more. I think it distills the best parts of it into a, a simpler version. Marco Polo 2. I played Marco Polo 1. I have not played Marco Polo 2 yet. Dinosaur Island. I liked it. I got Dinosaur World instead. Or Labora. I like it. I like Lahav more. Castle of Madikin Ludwig. I like it. I like Suburbia more. Memoir 44. It was okay. I, the command and color system never worked for me. Rails of the World. I like it. I like Steam more. Resistance Avalon. I like it. I like Quest more. The Quest for El Dorado. Phenomenal game. One of the best mo money for your value for your dollar things you can do. Jaipur was a game I had for years. I still have it, but I only have it now because my daughter likes it. I've moved on from it. Just one great party game. Still have it. Day of the Winter Crosswoods game. Played it once. Wasn't for me. Raja the Ganges. Phenomenal game. Gets better with every single play. Dice placement. Really enjoy it. Zia Legend of a Diff System. Just got this one back with the expansions because uh, I play Wasteland Express and it made me want Zia. Lord of the Rings the card game. Played this way back in the day when it first came out and I just don't have time to dive into it right now. I kind of want to, but I just I can't justify it. War of the Ring. I eventually have to play this because well, I have to play the second edition, not this one. Case in the Old World. Had it for years. Eventually got rid of it just got rid of it this past year it was it's probably like two three months ago really hard choice but it, it is what it is azul summer pavilion have not played this one yet i prefer azul the original azul is still my favorite but i haven't played summer pavilion that's pretty clever love it great great roll and right descent journeys in dark have not played this one but i have the newest descent uh, in my collection now welcome to one of my favorite roll and rights istanbul really solid game i think it needs the uh, mocha back she's expansion hansa tonica i need to table this one i've had this one in my collection for so long i've gotten the big box i played it i have played the original a long time ago. I have not played it since getting the big box and I really need to. Ticket to Ride, we've talked about Watergate. It's fantastic. It's a wonderful world. I just got it back. I want to dive into it again. I, I like uh, Lantis Rising. I got rid of it because I preferred a different game, but I, I, I have second thoughts and I want to try it again. Tarji, really solid game. I still own it. Kanban EV, I plan on getting it and trying it at some point. Age of Steam, I prefer Steam. Stone Age, great game. I, I had it for a long time, but it's uh, it's more gateway. I eventually moved on from it. Star Realms, great game, but eventually moved on from it. Star Wars, uh, X-Wing Miniatures game. Never played it. Endeavor Age of Stale. Still own it. Still love it. I haven't played it in a long time, though. It's one of those games that I do wonder if it'll eventually leave, but for right now, it's still safe. Legendary Encounters have not played. Alchemist didn't work for me. Cthulhu Death May Die is fantastic. Res Arcana. Cthulhu Death May Die is not top 100 yet? Oh my gosh. I mean, it's going to make it there. It's so close. Res Arcana. Good game. I actually just got it back with the expansion. Try it out. Well, I got it back a while ago, but I haven't actually played it yet. Trucarian. Need to play. Parks. Fantastic. I need to play with the Nightfall expansion. Vinos. I want to play it again because I haven't played it in a long time. Forbidden Stars is excellent. Wow. That was good. I only played it once, but wow, did I like it. Kemet. I have Blood and Sand, which is, you know, still lower down the rankings, but may or may not catch up. Kemet's fantastic. Amazing game. Top ten, top 20 for me. And Zen. Like I said already, and Zen is a good game, but not one that I loved. Cartographers is a good game. Really solid game. Oh, I, I have the whole new, all the stuff. I have all the new stuff for cartographers. Really like it. A solid role in my game. Pandemic Iberia. Really one of the better pandemic, uh, one of the better pandemic offshoots, but I'm still spoiled by pandemic legacy. It's the best version of the system to me. Sherlock Holmes, have not played. Yokohama, I have played. I want to give it another player or two to see if it stays for me. Right now, I'm still on the fence, but I do like it. Champions of Midgard, I played. I didn't love aspects of it. I've heard the expansions fix some of those aspects, but I, do I want to try? I don't know. Pandemic, really solid game. Had this one for years and years and years. Eventually got rid of it. Pandemic Legacy spoiled it for me. Clank, I never loved the Clank system. I enjoyed it without loving it. Dominion, amazing game. Still on Dominion to this day. Roll for the Galaxy, played it once or twice. Did not love it. Inish, Inish is amazing. Disappointed it's not top 100, but you can't always get what you want. Codenames, amazing game, and now we are finally in the top 100 at one hour in. Give me a second here. Okay. Okay. Well, could have been worse. Could have been worse. 
Trajan, number 100. Really good Feld game, but one that I don't feel the need to own. I like other Feld games better. Decrypto, really solid party game. Really enjoy this one. We have this. Tigers and Euphrates, had it for years, got rid of it because unfortunately I always win it with the people I play it with. Uh, Russian Railroads, Russian Railroads is a good game, but I found it to be a little one track minded. Seriously, that's the way it is. It's one track minded. Isle of Cats, didn't work for me as much as I thought it should have. Lorenzo El Magnifico, I still want to play this one. I'm going to be playing with Quackle because they're playing it for the top 100. I'll see if it works for me or not. I liked it. I just found that I like Coimbra better. Patchwork, amazing game, great game. Not my favorite polyomino, but I still own it because of how accessible it is. Rising Sun, great game. Ultimately, didn't keep it because I like Blood Rage better and it felt like it was fitting the same slot for me, even though they're different. Raiders of the North Sea, did not love it, unfortunately. I liked it. I did enjoy it. I had all the expansions. I played through it all, but I find most of the Shem Phillips, most of the Garpo game systems, I always like without loving. Elder Chore, good game, but too much game on the table. I didn't end up keeping it. Lord of the Rings, Middle Journeys of Middle Earth, app based, did not love it. Mombasa, have not played it. Dominion Intrigue, love Dominion. Twa, love this game. Own it. Twilight Imperium, still have not played. Balsa Galactica, board game. Amazing experience, but it's four hours long and players can have bad experiences with it. It eventually had to go. Kalis, I have Kalis 1303 right now. El Grande, I have the big box. It's a fantastic game. Love it. But then my Legacy Season 0, we just started that this past week. Arctic's of the West Kingdom. Probably my favorite of the Shem Phillips games are the ones I've played so far, but still not one I kept. Keyflower, I just played this like a month ago. Amazing. Can't believe I never played this one. It is so ridiculously good. Wow. Love it. Tainted Grail, own it. Have not yet dove into it. Grand Austria Hotel, I just rather play the Castle of Burgundy, honestly. Dominant Species, wow. Just played this uh, a week ago. Did not like it. Really didn't like it. I'm never going to play this one again, unfortunately. Lords of Wadi, phenomenal game. Had it for a long time, but eventually moved on from it. Agricola, I have Caverna. I'll be trying that one out. Five Tribes, still managed managed to make it in my collection. A top 100, not surprised. Seven Wonders. Seven Wonders is a great game. Very gateway-ish, but also very good at what it's doing. The Voyages of Marco Polo. I liked aspects of it while feeling it was too too tight on the economy. Supposedly, Marco Polo 2 addresses that, which is why I'll be getting that one instead. Teotihuacan. Have not played it, but really want to. I own it. I, I have it. I just haven't played it yet. Clank. I actually didn't play Clank this one. I played Clank Legacy, and I played Clank in Space. Haven't played this Clank. Robinson Crusoe Adventures of Crusoe Island. Have not played it. I did back the, the last Kickstarter, so I'll have a copy coming. Race for the Galaxy, amazing game. Had a few years before I moved on for it. Fields of Arla didn't really stick out to me. I liked it, but I, I it kind of felt similar to Feast for Odin, but I like Feast for Odin a whole lot more. Paladin's West Kingdom was good. I enjoyed it. I like Architects more. And Zen, we've talked about it multiple times by now. Android Nutrunner. Very interesting, very unique game in the uh, LCG genre. Out of print by now, but it was really, really innovative, really, really good, but also not one I kept. Crokinole, phenomenal game. I have a very nice copy. I'm very happy I do. Through the Ages, love it. We'll talk about it when we get to the next one. The Quacks of Quedlinburg. Uh, one that I, I'm always happy to play, but it's usually my wife's pick. Lisboa, just managed to get a play in this past, like, I don't know, two, three months ago. Really, really liked it. Need to dive into it again. It's my first Lacerda so far. Eclipse, I played it a long time ago, and I found that a few bad dice rolls can really screw with your strategy. I liked a lot of elements to it, but not one we wanted to continue playing. Azul, very mean and cutthroat with two. I won't play it anything more than two, though. The Gallerist, read the rules, have not played. On Mars, I'll be getting it now that I have a Lacerda bug. We have Lahav. Lahav is phenomenal, amazing game. Love this one, still holds up. Still my favorite Uwe Rosenberg to date. Star Wars Imperial Assault, played it once and didn't end up keeping it. Mexico's Minions, we really need to finish it. I have it on the shelf, like over there somewhere. Love the game. I need to dive into it with my wife and actually finish the whole campaign. Clans of Caledonia, own it, have not played it. Seventh Continent, I I, I love it. Really solid game, but I got rid of it because of Seven Citadel coming. Pax Premier Second Edition. I played twice. Did not love either one. I thought it was good without being great. King of the Monster. No interest, but I'm eventually going to have to play it because Quackalope has it and he's going to make me play it. Power Grid, we talked about. Sulk in the Man Calendar. I want to dive into this one again. I liked it and did not love it. I want to dive into it again, though. Anachrony, I have heard good things. I have a copy. I need to play it. I read the rules. Just Pandemic and everything got in the way. Underwater Cities, never loved this one. Always prefer Terraforming Mars. I know there's mixed audiences on which one's better, uh, but I vastly prefer Terraforming Mars. Barrage, read the rules, ready to play. Have not dived into it yet. The Crew Quest for Planet 9, great game. I like the new one more. Pandemic has Season 2. I My favorite is still Season 1, but I did love Season 2. Played through it twice. Mansion Madden 2nd Edition did not work for me. I did not like it one bit. Maracaibo. Own it. Have not played. Too Many Bones. One of my favorite games of all time in my top 10. Marvel Champions of the Card Game is amazing. I need to play it more. Love that game. Eclipse Second Down for the Galaxy. I have a copy. Like I said, I like the Eclipse enough that I wanted to try Second Down for the Galaxy and see if it works for me. Agricola. I got Caverna. I mean, I liked Agricola. I liked it. I just, I just, there are aspects of it that made it not my favorite. Uwe. Blood Rage. My third favorite game of all time. It was my first for a long 
long time. It has dropped. Now it's terrible. Great game. Lost Ones of Arnak. Wow, Lost Ones of Arnak is higher than Blood Rage. That's insane to me. Lost Ones of Arnak with the expansion is an easy win. Highly recommend trying it out with expansion. I like it without the expansion. Just fine. With the expansion, even better. Caverna. Read the rules. Have not yet tabled it. Food Chain Magnet is phenomenal. It's fantastic. Puerto Rico. Played it a long time ago when I first got into gaming. I need to try it again properly to give it a real shot. Clank Legacy. One of the few Legacy games. One of only two Legacy games that I did not finish. Too much work for what it was giving me. Everdell, amazing game. Top 10 for me. Mage Knight Thor game, amazing game. It might leave my collection if I don't get it played, though. Orleon, I actually have a copy back. I played it a long time ago, got rid of it. I really liked it, though, but and so I kind of got it back. I want to see how it holds up. Root, amazing game. Great, great game. I have complaints. I have nitpicks and all that, but I really do like it. Viticulture, like I said already, I just discovered this this past year, and it is really working for me. Arkham the card game. Amazing game, but I only have room in my life for one LCG, and Marvel Champions did win out. Wingspan, solid game, but not one that's state of my collection a feast for odin really good game that i want to play again i have the expansion i want to dive into it it's been like two years since i played it brass lancashire amazing game it's been like a year since i played it though amazing though but i need to dive into it dune imperium i need to pick up the expansion but dune imperium is a phenomenal game i can't believe it's 20 the 20 highest game of all time that's baffling to me i think it's amazing i like arnak more though but amazing either way terra mystica uh, one that didn't hold it for me i thought it was okay without being amazing Concordia, on the other hand, is amazing. Great game that I'm glad to see it continue to rise. Love this one. Nemesis, one that I'm still torn on. I have had good experiences and bad experiences. Seven Wonders Duel. I like it a lot. I still prefer Seven Wonders, but I do like Seven Wonders Duel and have it in my collection. Castle Burgundy, my second favorite game of all time this past year. It is such a good game. We have been. It's, it's one of two games from my original purchase. Seven Wonders and Castle Burgundy are the original two games, uh, are the last two games standing from the original batch of games when I first got into gaming, and they're both amazing. Seven Wonders, though, I don't even know if it made my top 100, I can't recall. Castle Burgundy, on the other hand, is my second favorite game of all time. Scythe, a good game that I'm always happy to play, but don't own it and I'm not compelled to play it. Twilight Struggle, had it for a few years and it's just too long for what it is. Watergate does it better in my opinion, or Watergate doesn't necessarily do it better, but does it shorter without compromising on that much. Great Western Trail, I have this game I played like six or seven times. I like it a lot, but eventually I got rid of it. Twice. I got it back and then played it three, four important times and then got rid of it again. Spirit Island, amazing game. Love this one. War of the Wings Second Edition, I'm going to need to play it at some point. I, I just need to, but I haven't yet. Yet. Through the Ages, a new story civilization. Amazing experience. It runs very long, so it's one that I don't table that often, but when I do, it is such a good civ building game. Star Wars Rebellion, one of the best thematic experiences I've ever I've ever had, but also one that I won't play, and I know that, so I got rid of it. Gaia Project, I, I haven't actually played this one yet, but I'm hoping that it'll be good. I own it. Gloomhaven Jaws of the Lion, great game. I think it's the better, not better, it's the more accessible version of Gloomhaven, which makes it to me better, but we'll see. Uh, Gloomhaven Jaws of the Lion, fantastic game. I think Gloomhaven in general is a great experience. Twilight Imperium 4th Edition, a game I hope to play one day, but have not yet done so yet. Terraforming Mars. Wow, it's slipping. It's like 4 instead of 3 now. Terraforming Mars is a phenomenal game. My, my, my favorite game of all time. I absolutely adore it. It is incredible. I know that some people are like, I just don't get it, and that's fine. There are games I don't get either, and that's just the way life works. Brass Birmingham. Haven't played it yet. I've played Brass Lancashire. I've not played Birmingham. Pandemic Legacy Season 1. I played it twice. I must like it in some way. And Gloomhaven, a game that I think is amazing, but I'm not even debating Gloomhaven. I'm, I'm, I might get the Steam version of it. But otherwise, Jaws of the Line is the more accessible version. An hour and ten minutes. This is me going through the Board Game Geek Top 1000 and going through my experiences. I should probably count through how many I've played. I will put it through the description if I do the count. But I've played a lot of these games. I like a lot of these games. I wonder... I will... You know what I'm going to do? In the description of this video, I will post how many of these games are A... May, I might I might do top 100. I will say how many of these games I own and how many of these games I've played in a summary. So you can check that out if you're interested. But either way, this has been sort of fun. Uh, 70 minutes of me rattling through games. I guess in some universe that might be fun. If you made it this far, thanks for being here. Thanks for being here for all the videos and all the things. My thousandth video. It's certainly a milestone. And I wasted it doing this. Until next time, I'm Alex Radcliffe from Board Game Co. Thanks for being here. And as always... Have a good one.